When your lamb isn't drinking from the bottle or from mum, usually due to being sick, colicky or having diarrhoea, your best option is to start chew feeding before the, your lamb gets too dehydrated. And as very young animals have very little reserves, this can happen very quickly. When done correctly, chew feeding is more effective and safer than syringing. You just can't get the volumes of fluid into your lamb necessary to adequately feed your lamb and prevent dehydration. Before every tube feeding session, always offer a bottle first, as this is an easier and more practical way to get fluids in than tube feeding. If the lamb doesn't take the bottle, then we proceed to tube feeding. The main risks you'll face with tube feeding or syringing fluid into your lamb is the risk of getting fluids into the lungs. Tube feeding is safer than syringing in this respect, as once the tube is placed correctly, there is next to no risk of fluid aspirating into the lungs. This can't be said when you're syringing fluid into your lamb. How to tube feed your lamb. When tube feeding your lamb for the first time, you'll need somebody to assist and hold your lamb so that you can concentrate on placing the tube. This is a two person job. Before you start, have your milk slash colostrum or electrolyte mixture mixed up and ready to go, but don't pour it into the tube setup yet. It's easier to place the tube while it's empty. Firstly, some anatomy. You're looking for the oesophagus which is on the left hand side of your lamb. So the person holding the lamb will hold the lamb with the left side facing out, as is shown in the video. The oesophagus runs down the neck in the groove shown. You want to measure the distance between the mouth and just behind the front legs. This is how far you'll need to insert the tube. Open the mouth of the lamb and insert the tube. There will be wriggling movement and vocalization. This is to be expected. Once the lamb has swallowed, you will see or feel the tube running down the left hand side of the neck. If you are unsure, remove the tube and start again until you are certain that you've either seen or felt the tube. Once the tube is placed, fill the receptacle with the milk, colostrum or electrolyte mix and raise this to above the head. This will flow into the stomach. Once the receptacle and tube are completely empty, retract the tube quickly and one action. And that's it. When mixing the milk colostrum or electrolyte mix, follow the directions on the packaging or the advice of your vet for the volumes and frequency.